Yeah, this is a 1923 um, kind of stucco uh, brick built house and we had a, um, an external uh, condensing unit with an un uh, underhouse blower unit. Um, there's only about eight inches of clearance in the underhouse piece and we were gone for a few months. A friend came to check on the house and discovered a giant ice block underneath the house. No air conditioning. The general issues that we had with the house were that, that we had a humidity problem. Uh, it was never really ever comfortable in the house. Um, it, we also had the issue where there wasn't consistent uh, air. The kitchen was extremely hot pretty much all the time. The house is very kind of chopped up given its age. And um, the other kind of really main issue was that the house really kind of smelled like dirt, like because of the, all of the uh, ducts were under uh, underground, the blower would blow the, the dust and dirt and a kind of smelly air up into our house. So we called uh, Ken and Riles Brothers and they came over. The air conditioning was underneath the house. Uh, we had some design issues as far as flat roofs and Immediately, I was thinking ductless would be a resolution with an MVZ air handler, the air handler. And uh, we started implementing that and over about three or four days, we hashed out a, a resolution that we thought might work for Scott. Uh, when Ken came up with this idea, we, we had no idea an air handler could actually handle those five rooms, six rooms. Mm -hmm. From four or five of them, we had air conditioning too, but it wasn't really wasn't effective. working. <laughs> right, it yeah. wasn't effective. The ductwork that he had underneath the house uh, wasn't the proper ductwork underneath to begin with. There wasn't a resolution to put another system underneath the house. And the only resolution that I thought of would be ductless. The first 24 hours the system ran, we immediately got rid of all of our humidity issues, we got rid of the smell, and we uh, the quality of our life generally improved from, uh, from those two factors alone. For our customers, we try to pick the products that are that's going to give them the best serviceability. Since we're going to be getting rid of an air handler underneath the house, and we dealt with that whole debacle, we figured we don't want to have to ever deal with that again. So all the systems being exposed and accessible makes a lot of sense to us. We're ultimately looking for what's not going to break down and what design features we can have to, to bring to our customers, and that's what we've done on this project.